Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers in London and today I'm looking at a book called Lawyer, Scholar, Teacher and Activist, uh, Liber Abigorum in honour of Derek Roebuck, uh, the late Derek Roebuck whom I had the pleasure of meeting on many occasions. This book has been edited by Neil Kaplan and Robert Morgan and it comes from the Arbitration Press and Hollow Books or Holo Books. There it is. It's very much the um, house style for the arbitration press. A lot of blurb on the back, which I'm going to refer to in a few minutes. Um, there's a lot of information about Derek's previous books and the inside cover at the back and at the front. Um, the, these are the editors of this particular set of essays. And generally it's, it's to, to remember Derek. And as I say at the back, you've got a very useful index. You can see the index there at the back. Um, just get to the front of it. <coughs> you've got a huge amount of stuff all referring to Eric's, uh, Derek's work. The index was compiled by Robert Morgan. Uh, it's very helpful indeed. Then you've got a lot of information at the back. You can see the book runs to under 600 pages. The front of the book, nice picture there of, of Neil. What you've got, sorry, actually the, those are the books. Yes, the, that's actually, I should have mentioned that. Those, those books at the front, those are actually the books Derek wrote. Um, and I've reviewed a number of them over the years. They're first class books. Um, there is the front page. And there are the books, some of the books that Derek wrote uh, in the past. This book was published last year, and I'm recording it in 2022, the review. You can see part one is In, Memor in, in Memoriam, then part two, Scholarly Articles, part three, Contributed Scholarly Articles, and part four, Selected Chartered Institute of Arbitrators, Robot Lectures. And then you've got a preface explaining what the book is about. It's an honour and a privilege for both of us to have edited and contributed to this Liber and a quorum for Derek Roebuck. Um, and as they say, there's some very nice comments made there by the contributing editors. And then some acknowledgements. And then you've got um, Susanna, his wife, writing, A room shared, my late husband as feminist. I find that quite interesting, I must say, having met both of them, um, to, to read what she has to say. Um, and I obviously have had a lot of correspondence with Susanna and in fact with Derek over the over the years but the book runs through there's a lot of footnoting all the way through um, and a great deal of information a huge amount of detail throughout the book so what do they say and what do we say about the, the review well the book is a superb collection I'm going to quote some of the stuff that, that is included here it's a superb collection of essays lectures tributes reminiscences um, reminiscences which honours the life of Derek. It was rightly described as scholar, teacher, lawyer, prolific author, researcher, editor, human rights activist, feminist and creator of a widely acclaimed 10 volume series chronicling the international history of arbitration and mediation from ancient Greece to the long 18th century which I remember when that book came and I read it uh, the long 18th century that's 1700 to 1815 so you get the extra 15 years. <coughs> That's what it means. <laughs> it's a <clears throat> scholarly work, this one, and the contributions embrace a wide variety of subjects. And they show the range of, of what Derek was involved in, his <coughs> interests, his learning and his expertise. Obviously looking at things like the rule of law, transnational and comparative commercial law, modernisation of laws in Southeast Asia, a lot of work uh, involving arbitration, um, going back through the history of the, the subject. Because to many people, they think, oh, well, that's relatively new. It isn't. It goes back a very long way, of course, in terms of trying to deal with disputes without having to go to the full force of the law. And it's the diversity of Derek's interests and the esteem in which he's held that reflect the broad array of the contributions, including um, <coughs> Susanna's excellent piece, um, plus, of course, a lot of contributions from, from his friends because he guided, mentored and touched the lives of everybody uh, he met. 
Uh, he's a charming man, and um, I'm very glad that they've been able to produce this book. Also featured are a selection of papers presented as part of the Roebuck Lectures, a uh, series inaugurated by the uh, Chartered Institute of Arbitrators in 2011 to commemorate his 10 years as editor of the journal Arbitration. And of course, as I've said before, I think one of the problems with arbitration, or mediation, the whole of the ADR concepts have been around much longer than people would agree, <coughs> would have thought. Um, but of course, it's only in recent years that because of the costs of going to court, that ADR has become much more prominent, and rightly too, because there are many ways of dealing with these disputes without having to actually go to court. Um, the lectures, of course, in the book address subjects very close to Derek's heart, ethics, diversity, human rights, and so forth. question I'd be interested to know what he would make of a, a Bill of Rights, a British Bill of Rights, which is about to appear um, <coughs> in, the, in the government's current a <coughs> Queen's Speech programme, but we shall see uh, what happens. There's also included in the book um, <coughs> Derek's own inaugural lecture in 2011 calling for a fundamental rethink of dispute management. And I think, again, that is quite forward-thinking because we are still in a position where so many cases that I see and I'm involved in, they should never get as far as they do. But they get that way really because of the behaviour of the parties. And in many ways, it would be very nice to only have the most serious problems being dealt with because of the costs and the huge amount of damage that it does to people's lives sometimes. The date of publication of this edition is um, April 2021. And I'm re basically recording this a year later. It's taken a while with COVID for me to, to be involved. But I wanted to do this because... Um, Derek was a splendid person and this book is a, a lovely treasure um, which I shall keep and uh, be very pleased with. There's the front of it again, the spine and then the back. And then just opening it in the middle, um, the central force in transnational commercial law. A bit heavy, but there again, a lot of what Eric, uh, Derek, Eric, Eric, Derek did was he actually, he got into the detail. And one of the things I loved about some of the history, some of those books he wrote there about the historical background was you you got into the period concerned um, but of course he looked at so many different um, different areas um, over the years and of course what you've got are some very useful <coughs> um, essays from other people this one's the power of states to make meaningful promises to foreigners by Jan Paulson and then you've got other ones uh, mediation by Sir Bernard Ricks and so forth the next um, court of appeal judge you see, again, you've got an awful lot of information there and it's something which will, I, I hope, will, will be with us for a very long time because what Derek was setting out with the history and the way we're going through his um, scholarship and the excellent work and huge amount of expertise he had um, is that you've, you've got a, a large amount of information there which could be a benefit to everybody in the future. So a, a very special thank you to Susanna as well for sending the book to me. And again, in, I shall remember Derek with a great deal of fondness and I'd like to thank everybody who's been involved in producing this book. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>